Today in this video, what we're going to do is show you the different parts of the microscope and also the best way to focus this microscope so that it works for you and it's focused for your eyes. So when you come to your microscope, it should be on the desk. If not, you're going to um, put your hand on the back here where you can see there's a carrier and then your other hand you're going to put on the base and you're going to carry it that way and that's going to make it more stable. But like I said, most of the time we're going to have our microscopes already on the desk. This is the little dust cover which is going to help protect the ocular lenses from any kind of dust that's around. So you would eventually take that off and then that will expose in the back your electrical cord. So the electrical cord is wound around the back and what you're going to do basically is unwind this and then find the closest plug that's not interfering with a heat source like your back to incinerator. So after we have our microscope set up and we have the electric cord in place, then the next thing that's kind of nice to do is just take a, a quick glance and make sure everything is, is clean for you to start with. Now, once it is, you also want to make sure that your lab chair is adjusted so that you can just look into the oculars without having to hunch over or try and um, go straight up. You just want to make it so that you can get into the oculars easily. And then you want about this much space in between your eyes and your oculars. And that will make sure that you um, see one field of view and you don't see your eyelashes like little spiders in there. Now we want to have some light going through this. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our main switch here. And then we're increasing the intensity of the light using the rheostat. Now we're going to place our slide onto the stage here. And to place it on and to keep it in place, we're going to use our stage clips. That way, once the stage clips have held onto the slide, we now can just move the slide backwards and left and right using our mechanical stage knob. Now, what you're trying to focus on the um, object needs to be in that field of light. So you're going to move your stage forward and back until your object is right over that light field. Once we have our slide in place, then we want to rotate the revolving nose piece to put the 10x objective in place. Now we're hoping to see one field of view of light, so we're going to adjust our binoculars in order to adjust the interpupillary distance. So just like you use binoculars in the vent, you're going to increase or decrease the amount of distance between our oculars. And you should see two circles of light eventually mold into one circle of light, and then you have your interpupillary distance set up. Now, you have little notches over here so that you can actually see what your interpupillary distance is and then the next time you come to your microscope, you can just go right to that distance using those little notches. Now once I have that set up, I need to focus. And to focus on our low power objective, what I'm going to do is raise the stage up until we actually see some of our organisms. So you're going to use your course adjustment knob and you're going to increase or rotate, I should say, the course adjustment knob until you see objects in your field of view. Now you're going to use your fine focus knob in order to get it into fine focus for your eyes. So now we have our magnification set up and the second thing that we need to do is make sure our light is set up properly. In order to do that, we're going to make sure that our condenser is centered right in the middle of our field. In order to check that to see if it is, we're going to decrease the amount 
of light coming through our field diaphragms. Now we have closed up that light. And as we look into our field of view here, we should see one circle of light that's right in the center, and the rest of it will be dark. Now, if that's not right in the center, we want to use our centering screws now and maneuver that condenser so that the light now is in the center. Once it is, and we know it's in the center, we just open up our field diaphragm so that the light then increases just outside your field of view. Now our condenser is set up perfectly for us to uh, view our organisms. Now let's say sometimes the organisms are clear, such as in uh, parasitology, you might have parasites that aren't stained. Then you may want a little more contrast, and what you can do there is use your condenser knob and just decrease the condenser a slight bit. So what you're doing there is from the cone of light here, you're kind of lowering it and that will diffuse your light. Now once we have it under 10X, we wanna to go to a higher power. In order to do that, you wanna leave everything the way it is and only rotate your, um, your magnification objectives. And now we're going to increase it to the 40x. Notice that we only have a very small amount of distance between the objective and the slide. That's called the working distance. Since it is such a small amount of room, you only want to use your fine focus knobs in order to get your 40x objective in focus. So we're just going to need to rotate your fine focus knobs slightly to get the uh, organism into view. Now once you increase the magnification, two things are going to happen. Your field of view is going to decrease and the light is going to decrease. So you may want to increase the intensity of your light and you can do that two ways. So you can maneuver your iris diaphragm lever to open up the iris diaphragm a little bit and that will help in increase the intensity. The other way you can increase the intensity of the light is to use your rheostat. And what you're going to do there is just turn that rheostat and that'll increase your a little bit of light that you need. After we have focused under 40, then we want to use our oil immersion. And using the oil immersion lens is going to give you the highest magnification possible, which is a thousand times the actual size of the object. To use the oil immersion lens, you have to do that. You have to immerse the lens into oil. So we use special immersion oil. You're going to rotate the 40X objective out of the field of view, and you're gonna add a drop of oil to your slide. Now you only want to put the oil immersion lens into the oil, so you need to rotate this in the direction where then the 100X objective will be in place. Now if you'd like to, you can look and make sure that that immersion oil lens is right in that drop of oil. Again, you have very little working distance, so you want to use your fine focus knob and barely move it, and you can see your object. Now, all of us have a different prescription sometimes in our different eyes, so what we want to do now is make sure that we focus for both our right and our left eye. So we can do that using our oculars. So my right eye, I am then going to focus using the fine focus knob. So I'm gonna close my left eye, only look through the right ocular, and using the fine focus, I'm going to focus in, and it's easy to look at one particular uh, organism in order to get the fine focus. Now notice I wanna focus for my left eye. I take my hands off of the focus knobs, and instead I'm going to focus for my left eye using this diopter ring. So again, closing your right eye, leaving your left eye open, I'm now going to rotate the thumb screw that's right on the left ocular. And now I have my left eye focused. Again, you've increased your magnification, so you've decreased the field of view, and you may need a little more light then, so we're gonna increase the intensity of the light. And now you've got your object is uh, best in focus, 
with the most light centered and you should see exactly what you want to see. The next thing that we're going to do is show you how you can change the slides without really changing your uh, stage. And that way you will keep in fairly close uh, focus for your next slide. So first of all, we want to change our objective to one of the lower objectives so that we do have this big working distance. And then it's easy to open up your slide clip, stage clip, move the slide out, and then you'll notice that you have a drop of oil on top of this slide. If this is a slide that we're going to use more than once, then we want to get that oil off. So I recommend placing the slide flat on the desk and then using a paper towel, and I drop, kind of uh, rub that drop off. Notice I'm blotting it instead of going and scraping it. At this time, you want to use your lens cleaner and put a couple of drops on it. And again, take your paper towel while the slide is on the desk, and again, kind of blot that a little bit. A couple of things that we're going to um, show you about actually having it on the table is that this will help you from not breaking your slide. If you have it like this and you kind of go through and scrape it, there is a chance that you're going to actually be stronger than you think. And as you scrape it, you can break the slide. So if you have it on the table, then there isn't any way that you can break that slide unless you use a hammer. Now when you're done with your microscope, of course you'll need to clean it up. So again, notice that I'm going to take the 100x objective out of the field. And in order to clean up your microscope and put it away, we're always going to lower our stage. And I'm using the coarse adjustment knob and just twisting it in order to get that done. Now I have a big working distance. I can open up my stage clip, pull out the slide, and you're going to clean your slide as you did before. You're going to blot off the excess oil. You're going to use your Windex or lens cleaner, and then you're going to blot the slide again and get off the excess oil. Now, since these slides are going to be used again, you want to make sure that you properly put them in the correct order of your slide box. Now you'll notice that the oil immersion has been immersed in that oil and we want to clean that oil off. So I think it's easier to kind of move your oil objective over if you're right-handed. We're going to use a Q-tip swab and the first thing we're going to do is gently wipe the excess oil off. So you may need to use both sides of your Q-tip swab in order to get that excess oil. Once you get that off, you're going to use another Q-tip swab and dab one end in the Windex or lens cleaner. And now you're going to um, use a little more force and wipe around the objective lens itself. Once you've gotten that done, then use the dry end of the Q-tip and dry off that Windex. If it happens to be very oily, then you can do that process again. At that time, too, go ahead and clean off the other lenses using a dry Q-tip. So I'm going to move this, clean that off, clean this one off just in case we had some fingerprints on there. When you're going to um, put your microscope away, you want to put the 5x objective in place, and that gives you a large working distance. So the stage is down all the way, the 5 objective is in place. Now you might notice that there's some oil that has gotten onto our stage. So again, we want to clean that off. We don't use a Q-tip swab for that. Instead, you can use a paper towel. So we're going to use a little bit of our lens cleaner. And I'm just going to dab some on there. 
and then I'm going to wipe off any of the oil that might have gotten onto our stage. So now we have our microscope set up to uh, be turned off. We're going to lower the rheostat, which will decrease the intensity of the light, and then we're going to turn off the main switch of the light. So now the power is off. If needed, you're going to take the electrical cord and wrap it around the back just as you did before. Lastly, since our microscope may be sitting a while, we want to make sure that we keep our oculars free of dust. So we're going to put our little dust cover back on. And then it'll be ready for the next person to use in the next lab session. What I'd like to do now is give you a few tips on what to do if you cannot focus on the uh, object. So a couple of tips that we have is that when you focus under your 10x objective and you can see your organism, but when you go to your 40x objective, you cannot focus using your fine focus knob. A couple of things might have happened. One is the slide might have been turned over accidentally. When that happens, you can focus under the 10x. So here's your slide. The 10x objective is able to focus down on the bottom of the slide. But when you go to a higher objective, say the 40x, it's not able to focus on the bottom of the slide. So yes, you're going to focus under 10, but you won't be able to see it on 40. So all you have to do is take the 10x back into place, take your slide out, and flip it over. Another thing that might have happened is that the 40x objective may have a little oil on the bottom of it. In that case, you just need to clean off the lens. So again, you're going to use a little bit of your lens cleaner. Soak it in one end of the Q-tip, and then get some of that oil off. And again, take the other side of the Q-tip and dry that off, and see if that might help. Perfect. The last thing that might, um, that might be helpful is to use, actually, a wax pencil. And what you're doing there is you're going to make a little mark off to the side of the slide, and then when you're trying to focus, you can move over, focus on that um, big wax pencil mark so it's easy to focus on. And then you can move your slide open to where your um, object is. And hopefully that'll help you in focusing. 